The intensity only continues to ramp up as this series extends. Game three tonight here on the ice. James Savalski here bringing you the play-by-play -play on EA Sports. Centers both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads-up play there. From the boards, he takes that pass. Knocked away in the offensive zone. The Blackhawks gain control of the puck. Slides the puck ahead to Perry. Steps into the offensive end. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Takes the pass. Let it go. Rolls it to the crease. Big time stop by Mrazek. Now the name of his game is Speed James, and he can move at the same speed with the puck as he does without it. It's one of his factors of his game that is so difficult to defend. Poked away at center by Forsberg. Moves it to Butler. Up. Chicago's got a hold of the puck. Perry's going to play it against the half wall. Nashville's got control of it now from their own end. Predators gain possession along the wall. Quick feed to Nightfist. Puck scooped up by McDonough. Lights him up into the boards. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Took it up with the stick in the defensive end. Answered the call there. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Sissons takes the puck. Chicago's got possession of the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Dickinson's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air signaling penalty. McDonough's called for tripping. He's off to the box. First look tonight at their power play unit. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetition. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. and you have to create some motion to open up lanes. That's exactly what happens here. They're able to get the puck to the middle of the ice, and that's how they get the goal. Chicago's got the opening goal in this game of chess on the ice. Let's see how things change now, Cheryl. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds. You get the first goal over halfway through the first period, and you want to kind of find a way to continue that pace and dictate it further into the game. Receives the pass. Chicago's looking to break out. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Here we go, pucks in deep. Picked up along the boards by Evangelista. Chicago's got it in the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Hall. Broken up with a stick in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Evangelista. And now he moves it to Dickinson. To the low slot. Pumped away in the defensive end. Here comes the official's decision. When you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're short-handed. They're going to have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. The Blackhawks will go to work here in the offensive zone. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Slides it over with pace to Perry. Here's a chance!
And good things happen. You put the puck to the net, and this rebound comes right back out to him. But he's tracking, he's sniffing, he's hounding, and he finds the back of the net on the second shot. Chicago's in control of this one so far, Cheryl, wouldn't you say, with a two-goal lead? Absolutely, James, and often you don't see this urgency until the end of the game, but they started with it, and as a result, they've got a two-goal lead. Khrushchev's won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Takes it to the front, and he opts to wait for more support. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Puck picked up by Favreau. Feed. Here's a shot! Oh, that's blocked by Morazic. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that club save. Past the midway mark in this period, Chicago's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Taken by Jones. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Directed over to Polino. Moves it to Kane. Makes the save. Picked up along the wall by Polino. Moves it quickly over to Jones. Big play inside the defensive zone. Nashville's moving it along the wing. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Moments away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. The Blackhawks win the draw on their own end. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Skates across the blue line. Nashville's got the puck in their own end. Glasser played to the corner. Scooped up along the wall by Lazar. Oh, what a save on the clapper. Puck grab by Vlasic. And he takes the feed. Gaining steam here on the attack. A center feed. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And he can't hang on after that hit. Shen's got it in the defensive end. Skates to the crease. And he had the answer on that one. Oh, and stops him again. Angles it over to Polino. Great pressure on the offensive end by Nyquist. That knocks him off the puck. Taken along the wall by Nyquist. Chicago's got the puck. Here they come on the attack down the left side. And now it's grabbed by Hall. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. He's it up from the point. Grabbed along the board by Sherwood. Sissons moves it ahead. Quick feed to Nyquist. Picked off by Hall. The Blackhawks will play it from the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Perry. Works it across to Vlasic. Handles the puck. And that goes off a player in front. Slides it diagonally to O'Reilly. The horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. Second period is just around the corner. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Batteries are charged up, and here we go with period number two. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Brasic's performance was outstanding in the first 20 minutes. I mean, he got shelled. He's got to be exhausted, James. His team needs to pick it up in front of them if they want to stay in this game. Bedard's got the puck. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stick save. Across the line, down the left wall. And he totally whiffs on that one. Tender right in front. Here's a short pass to Jones. Slides the puck across to Bedard. 
Great reach with the poke check by Yossi. Quick pass to Corey. Big save. Puck scooped up by O'Reilly. Unable to reach that one. Slides it on over to Hall. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Mercy to Bagar. Great chance and an even better save. Stop that one. Here's a shot. Great save from in tight. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. The Blackhawks will play it in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. And he brings the iron! Chicago's lead will not change. Sometimes you do all the hard work to get to the right spots on the ice, but you don't have any puck left. And that was that thing there that hit the post now. Puts it on Nick! And the lane's clogged up blocking that. And he easily stops that one. Morasic's gonna slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. More than half the period left to play. The Blackhawks are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Good defensive effort to poke it away. The Blackhawks look to start the transition game. Moves it quickly over to Donato. Puck picked up by Lozon. And now it's over to Evangelista. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Moves it on over to Kurashev. Down the right side and into the zone. The Predators get a hold of the puck in their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Evangelista. Zone. They've had the puck on their stick. They're driving play, but they've been really urgent, even with the lead here. A great game for them so far. Textbook poke check by Zaitsev. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Quick pass across to Bedard. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. And he takes the dish. And that's deflected off someone in front. Here we go. Nashville's got a hold of it against the wall. And that's a great hits up play by Kaiser. Makes his presence known on the ice. Moves it in front. And we're going to get a penalty coming up here. Well, both teams 
dig in for the faceoff here just moments away. It's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the faceoff circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. And they clear that puck. Poked away at center by Kachuk. Moves into the slot. Great blocker stop by Saros. A centering chance. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Tries to feed it over to O'Reilly. Now a quick pass to Butler. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Sends the pass in front. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. Puck slid down the ice. Fires it. Turns it aside with the glove. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And the puck clears the zone. Nashville's gained possession along the boards. Kaiser's almost ready to get back on the ice. And now it's grabbed by Novak. Big time save! Oh, my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. James, he knows exactly what to do. He has been in these situations before. He's got to put this team on his back with this offensive zone face off and lead the charge. Murphy's taking it from his own end. Passes on over to Perry. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Here in the late goings of the period, Chicago's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Approaching the final 60 seconds here at the second. Gives some nothing in front. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Chicago's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Oh, and he whiffs on it. Nyquist exploring options with the puck. Dismiss that chance. Denies him again. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Chicago's been dominant through two periods of play. James have a comfortable lead now, and the coach can look down their bench and say, hey, listen, let's get everyone out of there. Let's maintain the energy. Let's finish this off right. Let's bring it home. The Predators are looking to get back into this one, trailing early in this third period despite having the better scoring chances. Bedard's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Nashville's got a hold of the puck now. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Centering feed, and that's blocked in front. The Blackhawks move the puck in the defensive zone. He got on. Scooped up by Forsberg. Gains the zone through center. Puck picked up by Favreau. Oh, what a stop by Mrazek. There's that to that save. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Lots of 
time left in this period. Chicago's on easy street right now. They lead it 3 0. Kurashev's quick stick off the draw wins possession. The Blackhawks have it now. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Quick feed to Donato. Taken by Kane. Pumps the puck away. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Gets it over to McDonough. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Uses the force on that hit. Quick shot. That's blocked by Saros. Takes the feed from his netminder. The Blackhawks have it in the offensive end. Here's a short pass to McDonough. Chicago's looking to break out of their own end. Felino's lugging the puck. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. And that's poked away by McDonough. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. The Predators cross the blue line and are on the attack. Here's a chance! Score! That's better late than never, right? Yeah, James, sometimes it feels like you're never gonna put one in. It could be the ocean and you'd miss it, but they get one late in the game, and hey, sometimes when the floodgates open, many come. Well, he's really battling to find this puck, James, but he drops into that butterfly, and he's still looking for it with his blocker. He just can't get a hold of it. The Predators don't have time on their side, but they're starting to scratch back. They're scratching back, they're clawing back, but they're gonna have to take some offensive chances. D are gonna have to start jumping in, opening up lanes, and creating all man rushes. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Still lots of time left in the period. Nashville's gotta find a way to get a few more goals here as they still trail by a pair. And that's poked away. Steps inside. Straight pass in front. And that's stopped. Slides it over to Dickinson. Knocked away with the stick by Yossi. A chance in front. Oh, and he fans on it. Morazic's gonna opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. The Blackhawks win the draw. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by O'Reilly. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Close save, and the play continues. Mrazic has been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Picks up the puck in his own end. And he slides it quickly to O'Reilly. The Predators carry it along the wall. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Here's a shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Takes that pass back at the point. Butler stick handling in his own zone. They've got numbers. Shot. Oh, stick save and a mute. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put a fire. Way too much congestion blocks that. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. Makes the save. Grabs the puck along the boards. Scores! He puts it in on a second effort. Well, this goal will be in the video room tomorrow, James, because it's second effort, and you know that coaches love that. You get these grade-A scoring chances nice and tight to the net. You gotta find a way to convert on it, but you have to be aware of where the goaltender is. You don't have much time, you have to have quick hands, but you have to find the back of the net when there's not much room. The Predators find exactly what they were looking for, a goal here late in the third. And this is why your big players, your star players, get paid the big bucks to deliver at the end of the game, and this is gonna be a nail butter, James, as we can feel the energy on both sides. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Made the stop on that play. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Big time defensive play. Quick pass to Bedard. Great stop.
Deckwork with the steal. Here's a chance. Picked off in front. Vlasic's moving the puck through his own zone. This is the best part of the game. It's really tight. It's down the stretch. One mistake either way will be the difference maker. And he shuts the ball on that. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. They've got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. With this face-off one, James, they're going to set up in the umbrella. You know that they want to roll the coverage up by work that walk down low. They'll have someone in front to be able to screen, but they'll also be looking for crossing passes to attack the net. The Predators moving in. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Stopped by the goaltender. Morazic's got the puck, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Well, and this is a huge play right here. Just recognizing the tempo of the game and being able to dictate it. He's done it all night. Glass slides into the face-off dud, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Poked away at center by Yossi. Nashville's got the puck shorthanded. Moves it to Novak. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off a stick and off target. And a quick save on the play as action continues. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Puck grab by Jones. Oh, what a block. He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. Jones moves the puck. Knocked away by Yossi. Nashville's on the attack. Oh, a massive goal here in the third, and we're tied. Yeah, and they're on their toes now, and their opponent are on their heels, and this is the critical time of the game now. Faceoff gets set up. They'll want possession. James, this just shows the critical nature of specialty teams within the game and how they can switch the momentum. I mean, you're on the power play with an opportunity to get up by two, and you give up a shorty, that's tough. The coach ain't gonna like it at all. The Predators, last goal, Cheryl. It is massive, isn't it? And the timing is impeccable. Right at the end of the game, you find a way to get the equalizer, and this really puts the opponent on their heels. It tightens up their six, so they have to attack and find a way to get to the net. shorthanded marker. Well, that's a tough one for the power play team here, James, giving up a shorty on that one. What matters now is what you do next. Reset, refocus, and attempt to get back in this one. Gains the zone through the middle. Makes the move in front. Denies him! Sorrows makes an incredible save from the slot area. That's a beauty. I wasn't sure if he was going to get to it, James, but he sure did. Chicago's got control of it now from their own end. Oh, he hammered him. Oh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it all perfectly. Back to the blue line. Nashville's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. And sends it just out of reach. And he takes the pass. when they're down. Well, the bench just erupts with this goal. A ton of pressure and urgency in the dying seconds of the third here, James. And that could wind up being the game-winning goal. The Predators have been a lot of fun to watch tonight. Lots of offensive scoring chances, and they have capitalized late here in this third. Victory, the series lead now shifts to a 2-1 advantage on their side. I really like the response in their game to break the tie in this series and get ahead 2-1, James. It's all 
about habits, finding ways to apply pressure to your opponent. And now with that lead, you have applied pressure. So if you can get the next win, man, game four is going to be interesting. Well, the game might be done, but these playoffs are far from over. We've got more playoff intensity just around the corner. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Good night, and we'll see you next time.